All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're out on Watts Bar Lake here on the Tennessee River, and let's talk ledge fishing because uh, everybody wants to know how to, to ledge fish better, and, and if you're new to offshore ledge fishing, you may not know exactly what to look for, especially on your maps, and your your maps are the most important asset you have uh, when you're, you're approaching a new lake. And so we're gonna break down the types of ledges and the type of structure that I'm gonna be, uh, you know, keying in on. So there's two different types of ledges that, that I'm really targeting that, that I kind of differentiate. The first one is perpendicular structure, um, which is essentially structure that is perpendicular with the current. So for instance, so we look right here on my Navionics map, you've got the main river channel. So the current is coming straight down this chute right here, the main river channel. And then you've got this creek channel that comes out and it's it's pretty much perpendicular with the current. So what happens here is this down current structure right here, uh, well, really it's up current, but down current as far as the, the river channel is, or the creek channel is concerned, right here is the type of structure that I'm looking for, that I'm gonna idle, is right where the current is just blasting right into the face of that structure. So that is the, the perpendicular uh, ledges that I'm looking for, those perpendicular structures. And then there's also the main river uh, ledges that um, can be a little bit more difficult to, to figure out where the sweet spots are because essentially what a main river ledge is, is this right here. Again, we've got the main river channel, but then you've got this, this uh, that, that main lip on the edge, okay? So the edge of the river channel. And as you can see, there's not a lot of differentiating, uh, you know, features on these main river channel ledges. So you essentially have to, to idle the entire ledge to find those little sweet spots. There's gonna be little sweet spots where you've got big groups of fish, and uh, so you, it's just very different. It's a little bit more time intensive and, uh, and yeah, so, but both of them can be extremely productive and more and more people, as they learn how to fish ledges, um, more and more people are gonna be fishing the perpendicular structure uh, as opposed to the main river uh, ledges because they're just easier to target. But we're gonna talk about how I approach each of these different types of ledges and, uh, and, and yeah, how I utilize my electronics to find those fish on both perpendicular structure and the main river ledges. All right, let's start with perpendicular structure, okay? And again, these are gross generalizations as far as the type of structure I'm looking at. Uh, and and I, the only way I can do it is really breaking it into two different ones. And perpendicular structure, again, is where you've got a ledge like this on the Navionics map right here. This is the shallow part right here. This is the creek channel. You can see this, this little orange creek channel here. And so deeper, and then it comes up real shallow right here, okay? And the current is coming from this direction. So it's just barreling right into this structure. And uh, essentially how I approach this type of structure is I essentially just zigzag up and down that ledge. So I'm gonna be keeping an eye primarily uh, on my down scan, okay? Because most of the time when I'm, I'm idling this type of structure, I'm going from deep to shallow and then shallow to deep again, zigzagging over that perpendicular structure, and I'm gonna be able to see the fish on the down scan. But at the same time, I'm always keeping an eye on my side imaging because Sometimes you get such tightly uh, knit schools of fish that you might miss them on a pass with the, with the down scan, but you wanna make sure that you check it out on the side imaging. And as I'm gonna explain uh, when it comes to or a parallel structure or those main river channel ledges, um, I'm actually gonna flip flop that as far as my attention on my screen here. But essentially I'm just zigzagging you know, from deep to shallow, and then back from shallow to deep over this, this perpendicular structure, keeping my eye primarily on the down scan, and that's when you're gonna see the fish. So uh, with this perpendicular structure, it's a zigzag pattern, and uh, so let's talk about main river ledges. All right, so let's talk about main river ledges, okay? And that's essentially just the edge of the main river channel. And the problem with, or the challenge rather, with the main river ledges is that 
a lot of the times the best spots don't really make any sense as far as looking at your, your topographic maps. Um, they just they, they are very, very subtle, you know. So you'll, you'll go miles and miles, and then all of a sudden you'll hit a huge school of fish. So um, the key to this type of structure and uh, it's not necessarily, you know, keying in on your, your mapping as much because, again, it could be a very, very subtle, um, you know, area. It could just be a hard spot, uh, a slightly higher spot uh, where those fish are congregating. Yeah, I mean, your maps are definitely going to put you in the, in the ballpark, but a lot of the best areas are, are the ones that don't look like anything on the map. So what I'm going to be doing with this is instead of zigzagging from deep to shallow on the structure, what I'm going to be doing is just riding parallel with the main river channel. I'm going to put the boat in on on the, the on top of the ledge in shallower water, and then I'm going to have my side scan set so where I can see the drop on the main river. And so, unlike the the perpendicular structure, what I'm doing with the main river channel structure is, is riding parallel in a straight line, just kind of cruising down down the lake and I'm looking at the side imaging primarily because in this situation, I'm looking for those, those schools of fish on the side imaging and, uh, and mostly looking for the shadows. Those are gonna show up the best. So I usually set it at 80 or 100 feet, depending on what depth you're in, and I'm just cruising along. And I wanna make sure that I can see that, that main river channel drop. And uh, when I start seeing those little shadows the little those little shadow marks um, then I can turn around and, and look at the, the school with the, the down scan so primarily using the side imaging and occasionally looking at down scan you're definitely looking at your mapping um, but you, you, you just want to stay right on that main river channel and until you find those schools of fish again it's going to be something really subtle a lot of times this is a, a type of structure that takes a lot of time to find those sweet spots but when you do, a lot of times it's it's a school that doesn't get as much attention and that you can really, really load the boat. So make sure you pay attention to your, your side imaging and a little bit of your down scan with these main river channels and, uh, and it just takes a little bit of time. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it helps you get a little bit more confidence out on the ledges and help you utilize your electronics to find those fish. Uh, make sure if you uh, are looking for, you know, to upgrade your electronics, uh, check out BassBoatElectronics.com and also make sure you get your Navionics mapping over there as well. Both are extremely important for this offshore fishing. Thanks for watching. We're going to see you out on the water.